guys happy new year to you all i'm here today with a my candle collection video it's like candles my wax melts home fragrances just everything i use to make my house smell really nice my cousin actually just did one of these videos i think a week or so back or a couple of weeks ago so i can kind of copying her a little bit i was just going through my candles actually and seeing what i had i'm in desperate need of buying some more i think so maybe a candle haul coming up sometime soon the name of my cousin if you haven't checked out her channel is miss morgan i'll put a link in the description below to her channel and you can go and check out her candle video or her other videos she does charity shop hauls and things so check out her channel i'm going to get started i'm going to start with the candles i think first and then we'll move on to like wax melts and then we'll do home fragrances i absolutely love watching these videos i don't know if any of you guys do i hope that you do um i just love having my house smelling really nice and i love having candles and things burning so first of all i'm going to start with this and if you've watched my other hauls you'll know all about this you know that i absolutely love this this is Wickford & Co and this is in the gingerbread scent. This is, I've got one of these burning in my living room. I think my daughter has one in her bedroom and this is my last one, like my last full one that's not been burned yet. This is lovely. This comes from Home Bargains and it's around about, I think it's 2 99 not around about. It is in fact 2 99 I love this. I can't say enough good things about this. It's a massive jar. The label looks like that, if I can show you without it glaring. looks like that for 2 99 for a giant jar like that is really really good and i can honestly say this really really smells really strongly even if i'm burning this down the stairs i can smell it up the stairs i really love it i can't say enough good things about it it smells absolutely gorgeous like yummy gingerbread if you like like bakery type scents like it's got that real like cinnamon and nutmeg but a lot of times when they put cinnamon in things it's too overpowering it's too strong you can't smell anything else that's not what this is it's just perfect i know that some of you have bought this um had a little and you bought that before and you really like it as well it's just lovely so if i can purchase i might actually look in home bargains and if i can purchase some more of these i think that i will sit that down here and the next one i've got is this i am i've had this for a while actually i think i might have hauled this in a video a while ago i've not burned it yet it is by the brand copenhagen candle company and it is in the scent baby powder how pretty is that sorry about the awful glare it's just the prettiest colour of pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's actually still got its TK Maxx tag on it, so I can tell you how much it is. And this was $7.99. This smells gorgeous. I think I'll smell, ugh, smell this. I think I'll burn this in my bedroom when it comes to a time to burn it when I ever do. Do you ever get that like when you get a really nice candle and you kind of don't want to burn it because you kind of don't want to not have it kind of thing? I don't know. I've not seen this one again or else I would have picked another one of these up. It smells lovely. It smells exactly like baby powder. Like not a synthetic smell, not a, it just smells like baby powder, which to me is just the most soothing, soothing, comforting, just lovely smell. I just think it smells absolutely gorgeous. It's like a so soft smell. I cannot speak to it. Soft smell, but not too soft that I don't think you're going to smell it. When you're smelling it like this, like without it being like, it does smell quite... It's a strong but soft smell, does that make sense? It's not like a weak smell, like, oh, I can't really smell that, but it's a soft smell, as in it's not overpowering, it's not over perfumed. It just smells like baby powder, basically. It just smells exactly like baby powder, and to me, that is just one of the lovely smells. I love it. So there's that, and it is even nicer. I know that um, Yankee Candle have a baby powder candle, and that one, I've not burned it yet, so I can't say burning it but smelling it like that it, that one smells nicer than the yankee candle one next one i've got i can see that i've actually must have burnt this at some point and this is a summer scent so i'm assuming that i burned this in the summer but i can't remember how it went like how it smelled or whatever it's pretty much full it's not really got a lot out of it this is called field of sunshine and it says 719 walnut avenue i'll show you the little label there like that i'm not 100 percent sure where this came from i'm not sure but it smells very very nice very like a clean <laughs> i told you i can't speak like a clean crisp smell <sighs> it's very hard to describe it's not a little bit florally but not like overly florally it's got pictures of like sunflower so you think it'd be very sort of florally it's not there, it's nice nice crisp <laughs> i cannot say that word nice clean crisp smell i do like this and this would be perfect for the summer this would also be nice in like your kitchen or bathroom like a, just a really nice fresh sort of scent so loving that and the next one i've got this i use more for sort of decoration though from looking at it i have wait till i get the no i 
have actually burned this at some point. This is in the scent Fresh Linen. It smells just like fresh linen. It's not overly strong and if I remember from burning this, it's not an overly strong smell. It's not going to like smell your entire room out or anything. Again, I use this mainly for decoration though it does have some scent to it so I thought I would show it. And this is by the brand Essence. I think I, I think my mum bought me this and I'm pretty sure it was from B&M, um, I think. And it, like I said, it's just scented candle and fresh linen but it's in such a pretty little jar. I just really like the jar and it's got like little butterflies and things on it. I just think it's really pretty so there's that. And next one I've got, this one was from TK Maxx, but unfortunately it doesn't have its label on it, but I'm sure this was in like a very, very old TK Maxx haul that I did. It's in this really nice jar. The jar actually attracted me, attracted me to it in the first place and then just so happened that the candle smelled lovely, so I bought it. I'm trying to see the set. It's by the brand DW Home and I, th I think I've had a couple of their candles before and they are very, very nice. This one I've not burned at all yet. It's in the scent uh, Bergamot Sage, so it's, let me smell, oh it's very very nice, it's got two wicks on it there, it smells like, it's a clean smell, very crisp smell, but oh, a masculine smell, I think that's the Bergamot and it's, oh, I'm bad at describing smells, candle sort of collection, probably not the best video for me to do, but it's like a masculine smell, but a soft masculine smell, not overly, not like a choky, sort of overpowering kind of smell. Very nice, but definitely, it's not a sweet smell. If you like, like sweet sort of, you know, more of the sweet sort of kind of smells, this probably isn't the one for you. This comes with two wicks, which is pretty good. If I remember rightly, I think this was around a £7 kind of mark, if I remember correctly, but I'm not 100% sure, but it was from TK Maxx, so there's that. And the next one here is from that same brand as the last one and I'm thinking Home Bargains, I'm not sure. It's the 719 Walnut Avenue and this is in the scent Fresh Linen and I've not burned this one, this is just a single wick. Oh this smells lovely, like fabric conditioner, just like, like you know when you do your washing in the summer and you put it out in the line and you bring it in and it just smells like fabric conditioner and fresh air, that's what this smells like. That is really, really nice. This is smaller than the gingerbread candle jar, but looking forward to burning that. I'll probably keep that for the summer. And the next one here, I have burned before, so I can give you my opinion on this. This is by the company, let me see, it's, in, it's called Starched Linen, and there we go, it's on here, so I don't have to try and remember it. It's by the company On A Wick and A Prayer. I happened upon this company by accident. I ordered online from them once. I don't think I've got anything else here, but I have tried some of their other um, stuff in the past and used it and absolutely loved it. And like I said, I have burned this candle so I can give you my opinion on it and it is lovely. It is absolutely beautiful, beautiful smell. It says starched linen, but it's completely different from like your fabric conditionery type smells. It does have that in it, like that very clean smell, but it also just has a perfumed but not over just fresh lovely very feminine clean just lovely lovely smell i would definitely recommend checking that company out wait and i'll show you the company there is on a wick and a prayer and they're very nice again not sponsored just showing you candles and stuff that i've got very very nice their scents are very strong i think i had a lavender one from them before and it was absolutely beautiful it was lovely i was very disappointed when it ran out so i can definitely recommend that company from the things that i have tried i like that company right let me see what is next these i put these in these are for halloween i've actually had these for a couple of years and they still smell just as strongly as when i first got them these are yankee candle tea lights and they are in the scent candy corn and they're literally just little tea lights i've actually got another wax melt so i'll tell you what it smells like when it comes to the wax melt but little tea light i don't know how many's left i think it started off with 12 and i'm not sure exactly how many is left i use these every halloween let me see next big candle is this it is it by dw home again and it's hyacinth and bergamot and this is a two wick candle like this again the jar is very ornate and pretty this can you see that it's like geometric kind of lines and shapes all over it i really like the jar oh this smells lovely okay i'm just trying to think of words to describe this i'm so bad at this even smell um this, unlike the other one, the other uh, DW one with the bergamot, this is more a feminine kind of smell, I would say. 
oh yes not as masculine as the other one more feminine very very crisp very fresh i would say this is like an all year round one you could run this any time of year you know like your cinnamons and stuff you usually use for like autumn winter and your fresh linens maybe for the summer this one i would say is all year round definitely all year round it's just like clean but not clean with a like feminine perfumed type smell very 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 nice I like the DW candles. I think I'll have a look for them when I'm in TK Maxx picking up more candles. And is that the end of the candles? It is not. I've got these little mini jars here. This is by Wickford & Co, which I'm sure the other one was, so this is probably at Home Bargains. And this is in the scent White Sands, and it's just this tiny little jar like this. I think that's really cute. They smell. Oh, like a, like that oceany kind of beachy type smell. Yeah, pretty much smells like you would think it would smell. White sands, like a beachy, kind of crisp, nice, beachy sort of smell. Very nice. Again, nice for the summer. Um, let me see. I also have another little jar like this. This is definitely a summer scent. This is in Caribbean Zest by the same make, Wickford & Co. So, Home Bargains. I'll show you what the label looks like there. And, do you know, this is the jumper that I got from TK Maxx. I don't know if you remember it from a haul. Oh my goodness, I really like the look of it and it's very thin and light and I thought that'll be like nice, not too heavy. It is so itchy, like I cannot wait to get this thing off. It is so itchy. Anyway, I digress. Back to the thing. Caribbean zest, let's smell it. Oh, it's like a pina colada. Just, it smells exactly like a pina colada. Coconut, definitely, definitely coconut. Pineapple, like a creamy pineapple coconut smell. Just pina colada, just smells exactly like a pina colada. I love that kind of smell, absolutely love it. My hair is all over the place, it's like sort of frizzy. I use those bendy rollers, you know the ones that I bought from the pound shop, just I actually slept in them last night. And it has made my hair curly, I mean for a pound shop, like old rollers, my hair is totally dry when I put them in, so it wasn't even damp or anything. It did make my hair curly, but it's like, it's been in all day, and so I've got flyaways and it's a little bit frizzy, so excuse my messy hair. And next we have the little votives. I think I've got four of these. This one here is the Yankee Candle Simply Home Bermuda Beach. It looks like this. I think I've had this for quite a while. This doesn't smell of an awful lot. I don't know if that's because I've had it for a while or just because it doesn't smell very much. I have been disappointed by quite a few Yankee Candles that just don't smell as strong as you would think that they would smell. I've actually just, I've not put it in the haul because I literally have, not haul, collection, because I literally have th this much left and it's one of my favourite candles of all times and it's the Hot Cocoa by Yankee Candle and I don't think they make it anymore, it's so hard to get. You can hardly find it anywhere, I think I found it ages ago in like Watt Brothers or something and I bought all that they had and I've finally ran out, I've got this much left in my jar, I'm very, very sad. So if any of you ever see Hot Cocoa by... Yankee Candle anywhere, please, please let me know. I would love to pick up some more of them. I absolutely love them. Yeah, this doesn't smell very much. Kind of beachy, kind of fresh kind of smell from what I can pick up, but no, it doesn't smell very much. And this one here, these are not from, I've got three different scents, but I've got like another two of these, so I've got like two of each of these. And this is in the scent Snow Pear and Cedarwood. I got these for my Christmas. They were in a little set and they came with like the little glass jars. Mark picked me these up and he said he picked them up from Aldi. This one is Fig Noir and Amber and this one is Cashmere Woods. And I think it's the Cashmere Woods one. Like I've got the other one of it in my bathroom and it smells absolutely lovely. I mean, I don't know that this size, like one of these in a living room or anything is going to be enough to sort of, you know, make it smell lovely because it's so small. But one of these in your bathroom is enough to make your bathroom smell absolutely lovely. So I'll be burning these in my bathroom. Oh my goodness, sorry I keep going off camera there. I should probably have said something set up at this level so I could just put it down like that. That would have been organised. Right, <sighs> and breath. I was going to say onto wax melts, but before I do that, I'm going to do my incense because I literally have one set of incense sticks and I think I've got about two of them left. These I picked up on holiday. It's in the scent Ambrosia and it's by One Aromatics and I keep saying I'm going to go online and order more of these which I will have to do because I have one left. So it's this here, it looks like that. They're just lovely. They just smell lovely. I'm not going to be able to describe these in a nice way. Obviously you've got your typical sort of, they smell like your, you know like all incense have got a similar kind of incense smell. It's got that smell to it. 
I really have two left, I'm very sad. It's got your sort of smoky smell, but it's like a perfumed, clean smell, I love it. And these really smell very strong when you're burning them, they're really, really nice, I really, really love these, so definitely have to purchase more of these. Next, on to wax melts, okay. These are by Woodwick. I got three of these and I can tell you how much they were. They were from Fairly Gar Fairley's Garden Centre. They still have the price tag on them there and these were £1.89 each. I think I've got one of these open, yes, and I think I started off with more than three of these. I've burned these before and these are in the scent Lavender Spa. They just come in the little, you know, the little wax cubes. You put one of them on your burner. Got a one, you know, the plug in ones, one downstairs, one up the stairs. So I go through quite a lot of wax. These are nice, they're not overly strong smelling. Woodwick, I do like the Woodwick Candle Company. I have the lavender, well, I had the lavender spa in a candle, it smelled lovely, really filled the room with a lovely lavender scent. But when it came when it comes to these, they're not overly strong. I might try them and maybe just like put a few in at the one time because there's really not point in having them if they're not going to smell. So I might try like a few of them in my burner at the same time. But if you're just using one or two, they're not overly, overly scented. But a very nice smell. Not synthetic, smells like real lavender. I do like them, but not overly strong. Just if you're looking to buy them. Okay, these, this make here, I don't know if you've heard of it, it is Mainstays and I think almost the rest of the wax melts I have to show you are by this brand. It looks like this, the label looks like this, it says made in the USA and here it says the name and it's Mainstays. I picked these up from a little stall but I know that you can pick these up from Watt Brothers if you have one of them near you. I'm not sure what other shops you can get these from. If you can pick these up, I would definitely, definitely recommend these. These come again in the little squares. One of these little squares in your burner is enough to make your house smell lovely all day long. It will literally fill every corner of your house with a lovely smell. It is so lovely. I put one up the stairs, one in the burner down the stairs and my whole house smells just gorgeous. They really are very strong smelling and they smell, when you smell them in there, that's exactly what they smell like when you burn them. They are absolutely beautiful. This one is in the scent Vanilla, wa vanilla Wax Cubes. It's not in the scent vanilla wax cube, it is a wax cube and it smells like vanilla. This one has got like a little picture of a cupcake on it and that's exactly what it smells like, like vanilla frosting. It's very, if you don't like sickly sweet smells, you're not going to like this. I'll open it. I've already burned some of this one. I think this might be like the second or third one of these I've had. Very, very, very sweet smell. Like birthday cake, it smells like birthday cake kind of scent. It is lovely really really nice but really really sweet so if you don't like those sorts of smells you probably won't like that and in the by the same brand again is this this is probably my favorite it is the scent hazelnut cream it smells exactly like it says it's got a picture of a cup of coffee on it it does have a coffee smell to it like coffee creamy it's sweet it's it kind of smells like when I burned it, I remember somebody saying that they thought it was salted caramel. It's got that kind of smell to it. Very creamy, very rich. Oh, just absolutely lovely. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can definitely smell the coffee in there. It's just lovely. Really nice. Again, I think nice for any time of the year. I've been burning this a lot lately. I just love it. Absolutely love it. So if I had to choose one for you to try, it would definitely be this one. I really, really like it. I've got two of these, so I've got another one here. And next, again by Mainstays, this is more summer scents, and this is the triple wax melts. And in this one, you get the three different scents. You get Tahitian Sunset, Island, Lua, uh, Cabo Sunshine. Let me see what these smell like. So it's like orange and purple and red, and they just smell gorgeous. They all smell very different to each other, but they've all got that tropical, fruity, this one is very, very fruity, fresh, definitely, most definitely a summer one, I would say. Just very, this one's like, like a fruity, kind of creamy, rich kind of smell, and these ones are more just your kind of fruity, just delicious smells, they're just lovely. Absolutely perfect for the summer, I can't wait to burn these. And this one is the same where you get the three different ones, though I have used up all of these ones. And these are in this sense, let me see, mulled cider, caramel apple and apple butter. So more for this, like autumn, winter sort of type 
thing but you do get the three different scents which I quite like so you you know in the one packet you get three different scents and clearly the middle one which is the caramel apple was my favourite because I've burned all of those but from what's left this one is a very 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 strong cinnamon what is, what is that one called that's called apple butter it just smells like cinnamon just really very strong cinnamon but nice, definitely not, maybe undertones of apple, but mainly cinnamon. Really, really nice smell. And that one here is your, I think that's the mulled wine. Yeah, mulled cider. Again, you're getting the apples, but more like spicy, cloves, that kind of smell. Really, very nice. And next, I only have a few left of these. And this is the Airwix, and this is in the scent Gingerbread. And from the candle, you can obviously guess that I like gingerbread. And I'm pretty sure, do you know... Even though this is Airwix and that other one's like a brand that I have never heard of and the candle is way cheaper than this, the other one, the other gingerbread smells way nicer than this. The cinnamon in this is just, I mean it's nice, but it pretty much just smells like cinnamon, whereas that other gingerbread candle smells exactly like gingerbread. Like if I'm buying gingerbread, it's because I want to smell gingerbread. This just kind of smells like cinnamon. It is nice, but a little bit too... I think if I hadn't have smelled that candle, I would probably think this was even nicer, if you know what I mean. But not as gingerbready, more just cinnamon. So, nice. Probably get it again. I'm pretty sure these ones smell pretty strong in the burner. They do, I remember them. These ones sm smell pretty strong and you're getting quite a lot of wax with it. So, you know, again, it adds the sort of smell. But yeah, more cinnamon than gingerbread. And <sighs> take a breath. Let me see where I am. And on to more wax melts. These are all from, did you hear that? I've just dropped things everywhere. These are from Yankee Candle. I've got two of these here and these are the, let me see, Candy Cane Lane. And they smell exactly like you would think they would smell. They smell of candy canes. Just peppermint. I like mint smells about my house because I just think it smells really fresh and really nice. As you will see when I come on to the fragrances, these smell exactly like you would think they smell, like candy canes. Like a sweet pepperminty type mint smell. These are very nice. And this one I've only burned half of and this one was very, very, very disappointing. This is the Black, Co Black Coconut by Yankee Candle. In the packet it smells very nice, like like a musky kind of coconut smell. I love coconut smells and I love like musk to see me itching. Like honestly, this jumper is so itchy. I cannot wait to take it off. Let me see. Yeah, musky kind of coconut smell. When this is burning, I use half, like I use a little bit, doesn't smell of anything. I ended up using like half of this. It did not smell of anything. So I'd, I'd either have to like, I don't know, I'd probably mix this with something else or throw it out because it really doesn't smell of anything. Like even up close, you're getting very little smell off it. So I wouldn't definitely not purchase this again. And yeah, bit of a disappointment. This one here, I've only burned a little bit of. Again, not an overly strong smell. This is in the set, a Yankee Candle in the scent Blissful Autumn. Again, not an awful lot of scent off of that. Very disappointed in Yankee Candle. Not, not an awful lot of smell. It's... <sighs> There's a kind of freshness sort of smell to it, if I had to sort of guess the scent, but really doesn't smell of very much at all. And the next one is Yankee Candle Stony Cove. And this one smells much stronger, even on like cold sniff like that, it smells much, much stronger. I really, really like the smell of this one. Very fresh, very... Ugh like a beachy smell but maybe more musky kind of beachy smell I really like that one so looking forward to burning that and the other one is just the got that this year and I've not I didn't burn it at Halloween so I'll keep it for next year and it's a Yankee Candle candy corn wax melt and this smells exactly like candy corn it's really 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 sweet very it just smells like candy corn very sweet really nice smell I like it for Halloween perfect <sighs> and breathe what have we got air fresheners next to my battery I think I've got like five minutes left on my battery oh my goodness I'm gonna have to talk even faster than I normally do okay next we've got air fresheners and sort of home scents this is the method air freshener I keep this by my front door I have an umbrella stand at my front door and in it I have an air freshener just so that I can like you know if somebody comes to the door I can just give a little spritz and freshen it up before I open the door this is in the scent what scent are you wild poppy and let me remind myself what it smells like it smells nice. It's a fresh smell. Like a fresh, clean kind of floral smell. 
looks like this it's powered by air so you've not got like the nasty aerosols and stuff again method i spoke about before it's like an eco company it's very good it smells fresh it's not my favorite smell in all the world of all the air fresheners i've ever bought but it does the trick it definitely does freshen the air up and it definitely does smell nice and it's like a nice kind of fresh floral and kind of probably better for the summer but you could use it all year round. it's not like overpowering so anyway got that this one here i keep in my bathroom and it is the let me see organic botanic australia by dickens and hawthorne and it's an aroma spray and it's eucalyptus and aloe i love mint smells for my bathroom i've said it before when i did my cleaning haul video I absolutely love anything minty this looks like this i'm trying to see if it's got the original i know that i got this in tk maxx and sometimes i leave the tags on it i haven't on this one unfortunately but this just smells lovely like literally like mint and just eucalyptus and aloe it smells it's got that like minty very 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 clean smell i really like this for my bathroom and for all over the rest of my house especially my bedroom i use this it's the kenneth turner london and it is in lavender the scent lavender and let me just spray it oh it's just lovely it just smells like lavender it doesn't have a synthetic -y smell it's just it's lovely i absolutely love it i even love the little bottle and the color of the liquid i just really really love this this is one of my favorite air fresheners of all times love this and let me see last is the orange let me see orange and tree room spray so i think that's the brand orange and tree no is that the brand no the brand is nz skin company i think and it's orange orange tea and tree orange and tea tree room spray why was that so difficult it looks like this i just got it from tk maxx not long ago but i've taken the label off but i'm almost 100 percent sure that it was 3.99 again a very very minty it says orange and tea tree but really the tea tree is so overpowering that you can't smell any orange in there whatsoever i'm pretty sure let me smell this my room's gonna smell lovely this smells this is an acquired taste kind of so when i first smelled this i wasn't sure about it it's very 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 it's got a medicinal kind of smell to it which i kind of like for like the bathroom and stuff because it makes it smell really really fresh but i could see a lot of people maybe not liking this it does smell very very strongly of tea tree so if you don't like tea tree you're probably not going to like that but i really do like it and again just to make things smell nice i have these i'm sure i have another one that's peppermint or spearmint somewhere but i'm not sure where that is it's not on my little tray here i've got the grapefruit what am i called what am i called? essential oil and the sweet orange essential oil i picked these up from tk maxx on my travels and they're both by the no they're not i'm lying this is by nature from new zealand and this one is tisserand aromatherapy and they look like this and what i like to do with these is put them inside my toilet roll tube in my bathroom like put a couple of drops of those and it just makes your bathroom smell really nice and you don't know where the smell's coming from but it smells really lovely so love these and that is how i keep my house nice and fresh i hope you enjoyed this video i'm not sure if you like that sort of thing if you did let me know leave me a comment and i'll speak to you guys very very soon thank you so much for watching bye